Hi, I'm Rosalie Brown. Welcome to the Leg Magic Training System. This training system is based on circuit training, which means we'll be going from exercise to exercise in one minute intervals. Please feel free to work at your own pace and you can slow down at any time. But with the Leg Magic Training System, what you're going to find is your legs are going to get toner, your abs are going to get fitter, your butt's going to get higher, and you need to do this four to five times a week to get those great results, and in one month, you'll see it. Now, let's get started. All right, let's step on leg magic, grip the bar, and slide in and out, and squeeze and release. Good. Squeeze and release. When you're first starting, you might want to grip onto the bars, but keep that body nice and tall. As you advance, your grip should become lighter. Now, in this first action, we're just getting used to the leg magic training system. You want to squeeze in and release. When you first get started, you may also notice you're making a bit of noise by banging the end. And you want to try not. Try to keep it nice and quiet. Squeeze it. Release it. Lots of control. You want to activate the muscles in the inner and outer thighs. Great job. Keep it going. Body tall. Engage those abs. Guess what? We've got about 20 seconds left in this first training session. Squeeze. Fantastic job. Again, beginners, I want to remind you, work at your own pace. Great job. A few more. And now just a few seconds, we're going to step off leg magic and go into a repeater lunge series. Here we go. Three more. Two more. One more time. Great. Step back. Place one foot in front of the other. And step back and come up. Step back and up. Great job. You're probably feeling your heart rate increasing as well and this gives you some great cardiovascular benefits. So nice, giant step back. Feel free to keep a light grip on your leg magic. Fantastic. We're almost halfway through, and then we're going to switch legs. Try and keep those abs nice and tall. Fantastic. Step back. Great. About 20 seconds to go, and then we're going to switch legs. Keep your body nice and tall. Fantastic. Reach back. And to advance the move, slight pause, then lift. Slight pause, then lift. Three more. Here we go. In three. And two. One more. And let's switch legs. Step back. Step back. So the length of your step should be about the length of your leg magic training system. So this is a really great way to check your form and to make sure you're maximizing your exercise. Great job. Step back. Keep it tall. Beautiful. And try to keep your grip light. Let the legs take all the work. Fantastic. Over halfway there, guys. Step back. Come up. Good job. Keep your body posture tall. You can hear it in my voice. I'm getting that great cardio challenge as well. Awesome. We've got about 10 seconds left. Stay with me. And we're going to step back onto leg magic and do inner thigh focus. One more. All right. Stepping back on leg magic. You're going to start halfway. Squeeze, release. So it's a smaller range of motion this time. Squeeze. Squeeze. Beginners, feel free to keep that grip. Great. Notice your posture. Nice and tall. Hold. So in this set of leg magic exercises, smaller range, more concentrated focus on those inner thighs. Beautiful. And squeeze. Squeeze. Awesome. 30 seconds to go. You're doing great. Light grip. Feel free to rest at any time. You got it. Pull. Release. Pull. Notice that slight pause at the top. That's those muscles activating hard. Nice. All right, just a few more reps left. Stay with me. Remember, we're focusing on the inner thigh. Three more. And two more. Last one. Fantastic. Let's step back, and we're going to go into a squat. Step back, 
Good. Now, when you're squatting, you want to keep your toes light. Sit back, then lift. Sit back, then lift. Good. You want to press your buttock right to the back wall. Fantastic. Press. And press. Nice job. Really heating up those muscles in your legs. Burying up your calorie burners. Fantastic. Great job. Hold, then lift. The less momentum you use when you do all of your exercises, the more effective the exercise will be. You're doing great, guys. We're almost there. A few more. Great. Stay with me. But again, if you're new to exercise, it's okay to rest. What resting means is that you're working hard. And as long as you're working hard, you'll see great results. Fantastic. Just four more. Three more. Last two. All right, now we're going to get back onto the leg magic and we're going to focus on the outer hip and thigh area. So this time you're going to press out to the outer ramps. Here we go. And pulse. So this time it's a little different speed. Working at different speeds challenges the muscles a little differently. I still want you to watch your bumpers. Try to keep the movement quiet. Abs nice and tight. And again, if you can advance the move, try to keep your grip light or not at all. Keep pulsing it. You should really feel this in the outer hip and thigh area. A little butt action as well. Fantastic. Keep pulsing. Good. A lot of my clients tell me this is their favorite part of the leg magic training system. They love the way it feels on their outer hip and thigh area. Keep it going. Fantastic. We got 30 seconds to go in this training interval. Stay with me. Fantastic. Push hard. Great. And again, beginners, keep it nice and tall. Use your grip when you have to, but feel the abdominals engage. My clients saw such fantastic results, and I'm sure you will too, with consistent use. And please remember, it's only 13 minutes. You can do this. Four more, and three more, two more. All right, let's step back, and now we're going to do stationary lunges. One foot at the front of the leg magic, one behind, and let's dip it down. Here we go. Nice and tall. Great job. And I want you to keep your grip light. Fantastic. Remember, the less momentum you use, the more effective you'll train. What happens when you use momentum is that you actually activate less muscle. And I want you to activate as much muscle as you can. Good. Stay Fantastic. And you can check your t-shirt. It should be smooth. So if you find you got wrinkles in your t-shirt, straighten up. Check your form. And you should always be able to see your toe. Guess what, guys? We're halfway. Keep going. Drop it down. Fantastic. Press. Just moving from 